Hey YouTubers, welcome back for another adventure. And in this adventure, we're going to do this dual headlight upgrade to this Honda ATC 200S. Many of you might not think that's a big deal, but this does not have a battery. It does not have 12 volts available. Neither does an ATC 90 and ATC 110 and a few of the others out there. This will also work with a lot of motorcycles so just take a quick watch of what I'm up to here's the simple little circuit that you're gonna to need to put together a capacitor a diode and a few wires when this thing is running it puts out between 20 volts and 42 volts AC so when you rectify it with this half rectifier circuit, you end up with over 40 volts on this capacitor. This capacitor is rated for 50, so no big deal. But the reason why I mention that is if you go with one headlight, you will burn it out. These headlights are good from between 12 volts and 30 volts. So you really don't want to run 42 or 45 volts through it. You will burn it out. So what I did is I put these headlights in series. What does that mean? One red wire, black wire, red wire from this one, black wire, and then you just hook them up as you normally would. I have a little circuit here to make life much easier. You have your stator, ground, green, or body, right, stator. You just run one side of the stator, one leg of the stator, through a diode and you can see you go from alternating to half wave that's known as then you put a capacitor between ground and the output of the diode right and what that does is it gives you <laughs> dirty half wave rectified uh, signal what the capacitor does it attenuates the top of the signal just a little bit um, but it fills in the gap so to speak this is where the red wire on those uh, two LED lamps goes. That's where the black goes. That simple on the bike. Um, the yellow wire comes from the stator, goes up to the switch, and comes back down. In my case, this switch is seized. I cannot move it. So this is where your AC power goes out, goes into the diode, comes out on the hot side of the diode right goes into the capacitor goes into the lights the hot side of the lights um, the other side of the capacitor goes to ground as does the other side of the lights right so the neutral goes to ground and the hot goes to the hot side of the diode and capacitor when you're looking at these capacitors and you're trying to figure out which side is um, neutral or negative or and which side is positive the negative side of a capacitor has that white line on it so I hope you guys enjoyed me talking about it let's see what it looks like Well, I'm just going to close the door for a second. Well, let's turn off the lights first. Then I'm going to close the door for a second. So this is what it looks like if you're looking out over the handlebars. guys can see where you're going. It does have a slight flicker at um, idle, but um, when you bring up the RPM, that flicker goes away. So there we have it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some shrink wrap around this. And, uh, and package it up and make that look a little better. 
I showed you the circuit. The only other thing I want to show you are the components. The capacitors uh, cost me 58 cents. I got 10 of them for $5.88 and free postage. So the one capacitor was 58 cents. The diodes, they were $5.99 and another buck 45 shipping, call it $7.50. Um, and I got 44 capacitors, so they were less than 20 cents each. And lastly, the LED bulbs. You can see you get four of them for 20 bucks. Um, they actually had a make an offer, so I offered 19 and I got four of them. So you put all them numbers together, right? Two headlights is 950 then 58 cents then 20 for under eleven dollars you can do this dual headlight upgrade um, and once again it works with the AC circuits I'm gonna uh, package it all up and show you what it looks like finished so a couple of the construction details um, obviously red goes to where it's going to be positive Black is for ground, the negative, you can tell the positive side of the diode, it has a stripe. And I used an orange wire because I didn't have yellow. Um, on bikes, orange and yellow are frequently used for AC. What is this? This is uh, shrink wrap. Um, you get that from Harbor Freight. You get all these different sizes. It's about four bucks. So by um, enclosing it in shrink wrap and applying a little heat to it, it'll make it much neater. So there it is with the heat shrink on it. I put a little tape on the edge to seal it a little better. And uh, it's all ready to install and be done with. So here we have it. It's basically all done. Just a matter of putting a, um, a tie wrap to uh, kind of clean up the wiring a little bit. I just wanted to show you what it looked like um, by adjusting the handle here. Right, you could probably put that right through. And there's, well, it's not really space for it to move around, but rearranging the cables a little bit to make life better. So, it's all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I really want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember to keep your feet down, your heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.